Hey everybody, we're coming to you from Midwest Bucks uh, here in Marshall, Illinois today. Nick and I are just taking a break and uh, thought it was a good time to show you one of the tricks that we use out in the field with headphones. Hopefully everybody out there is using them. Um, we're out here for second gun season. It's December and it's pretty cold. It was high 20s today and this reminded us of something that we often come across. This is actually a brand new set of headphones we just recently got from Bedford Outdoors and we haven't done it to these headphones yet so we're going to go ahead and do it so you can, can see how we kind of prepare them for the field. This particular set of headphones actually comes apart in the middle uh, and you can get a short cable or a long on this end. So one of the problems we see here is right where the two meet it's very shiny. You got a reflective surface there. So we use electrical tape. We've always got it in our packs. You've probably heard me say that before, but we use electrical tape just to wrap it on that reflective surface and, you know, dull it down so that way you don't have that uh, and, you know, kind of reduce the chance of you getting busted by the deer's eyes. This rubber or plastic coating that's over most of the wires on these headphones will freeze. And what it does actually is, you know, when you picture those headphones on your head and that cable coming down and kind of dangling in front of you, um, it'll often hit the tree arm. And when it hits that tree arm, the metal on that tree arm, it's amazing how loud that can sound in the dead quiet of the morning in November, December. It sounds like it echoes through the whole woods. So uh, naturally not something we want happening. So we take, in this case, a cloth tape. And you can buy this just about anywhere. Find a cloth tape, black, brown, something preferably, again, dull in color, natural tones, and wrap that cable in a cloth tape. The cloth tape is not going to freeze. It will stiffen a little bit, but it's gonna deaden the sound because that, no matter what you do, that cable will hit that tree arm when it dangles down in front of you. And trust me, it's gonna happen when you least want it to. It'll, it won't happen all morning as soon as that buck comes in, ting, and he busts you and he's gone. So uh, again, just a simple little tip. Using tape, we always have tape in our packs. Um, we can dull down shiny surfaces with electrical tape. We can dull down loud noises on frozen cables with the cloth tape. So hopefully this helps you out in the field. We're actually gonna get ready to, to get this set all ready for this afternoon's hunt, get it taped up, and uh, hopefully we end the story here in Illinois this evening with one of, those, uh, one of those big giants on the ground. Good luck to you out there and be safe.